just wanted to ask Arthur and Chris, for years uh, uh, we've been using mouse models uh, as, a, as a proving ground or testing ground for SMA therapies. Now you both have got experience with um, a larger animal models, a, a pig model, and just if each of you could just tell us your approach and, and why you feel it's an important and useful addition to the research area. Dr. Larson. I'll describe my models and then you can say why they're important. Okay. <laughs> so Dr. Monique Larson at the University of Missouri and several other colleagues at Missouri have developed <clears throat> two animal models, two large animal models of SMA. The first one does not actually have the disease, but it has the human SMN2 transgene in there, and it allows you to look in an uncomplicated model for compounds that modulate SMN2 splicing, whether that be a small molecule or an ASO, something like that. And those, those pigs are, are here, they are ready to roll, and the next model is an SMA swine model. And this will be a large animal model of SMA based upon SMN2. So it should be able to recapitulate the disease like humans and also allow for translational studies for compounds that alter SMN2 levels or SMN levels in general. Okay, so why is it important to have a, a pig model? So there are a number of reasons, but one of the biggest things is if you look at the mouse, it's got certain physiological differences between it and a, and a human, and the pig is a lot closer. So I'll just pick on a, on a few of them. So the first one is the blood-brain barrier in a pig and in man is closed at birth. That's not true in, in the mouse. So you can ask different questions about the drug. Secondly, obviously, pigs are a lot bigger than mice. And this actually becomes important because you have to know that your molecule, your therapeutic, actually gets everywhere that you need it to get. So for instance, one study that we actually has being done right now with the pigs that uh, Chris just talked about, Monique's, shall I call them Moni, Mon, Monique's pigs? <laughs> Missouri pigs, okay, is um, to look at how well an antisense oligonucleotide of actually a slightly different chemistry, a morpholino chemistry, distributes in a large animal model. How far does it go? And that's important because you want to know that you're correcting all sections of the spinal cord. It also, we would hope, eventually, will give you an idea of how, once you have pigs with SMA, of how that clinical trial will look. What is the most effective time to introduce the reagent that's going to treat the disorder? Is it more effective early? Yes, we think so. How early? And is, that is very useful to do in a, a large animal model because it gives you a lot of predictors, not absolutes, but predictors of how the clinical dry, trial for, effort, for finding efficacy will go. We have also made a pig where we've actually knocked down SMN using a different technique. And together with Brian Casper, we are testing how well introducing the gene therapy vectors will actually correct that pig. So I think there's a lot of uses for large animal models. Right. 